Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. Let's say you have multiple computers on your network. Maybe your parents, maybe your relatives, maybe uh, whoever it may be. They have different computers and different iTunes libraries. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a simple way right inside of iTunes so it's really easy for the end user to implement? Wouldn't it be really simple and elegant and again convenient if you could synchronize those different libraries? So on this local machine we only have a few albums. I'll show you. Let's say, uh... So we have those. These are the only things we have on this particular network. But what iTunes 9 has implemented is something called Home Share. So it automatically detects the shared computers on your network that have iTunes 9 running. So from there, you can click on it or use this little carrot here just to go dig deep directly into playlists podcasts, TV shows, movies, or music. So, live sh it's live streamed, basically. So, let's say we wanted to listen to a little bit of Jack Johnson. We saw that a few of these albums are already on the computer. So, let's say we wanted to listen to Fortunate Tool. Or Fool, excuse me. She gives thanks for what... Well, we can live stream it. Uh, let's give another demo of live stream. Let's say we wanted to view a TV show. Mr. Monk buys a house. Just some free thing that I happened to see on iTunes one day. And this is HD. So let's let's just see how it plays. Again, this doesn't really matter on how... Your medication this morning has already made it. It doesn't, really, it doesn't matter how big your pipe is via your ISP. This is just in internal uh, network, so it depends on the speed of your actual network hardware. So if you're using a wired network, you should be totally fine. If you're using wireless, probably G or N will be best. This is wireless N, so we get pretty fast throughput internally. Already made a big difference. <laughs> Let's try skipping <laughs> ahead. So it's not super fast, uh, but it's not super slow either. But let's say you wanted to sync this, or you wanted to sync some of the music with your iPod, iPod or iPhone or whatever you have. You're not going to be able to sync shared music that's not locally on the computer. So seamlessly on the back end, HomeShare actually allows you to import that content. So let's go to music again, and we'll look at this uh, these Bob, the best of Bob Dylan. All right, We have these tracks here. Basically, all you have to do is either just drag them, or you could press the import button. Okay? So right now, they're copying the files over the network. There's also a little setting down here to show all items or show items not in my library. So if we just type in Bob, you can see that uh, the Bob Dylan stuff isn't here because it's being copied. So if we go to music... You can see that the best of Bob Dylan is here. This was not here before. We only had these three albums. Some are still importing, but if we wanted to listen to Hurricane. So, uh, it's really pretty simple. Again, let's just do another demo. Let's see, let's see how long it takes to transfer over uh, maybe... We'll try a video. We'll transfer over this little uh, HD clip here. So before we do that, I just want to show you, again, we can do items not in my library. And settings. So let's say you purchase something new on a different computer on your network. Assuming that all the computers are using Windows 9 Home Share, and assuming uh, that they all are logged into the same iTunes account, you could just click Sync TV Shows. And if you had that done on all computers, once one computer purchased a new TV show, it would be downloaded onto that computer, and then on the back end, Windows 9 would transfer that TV show to all the different computers that have this set up. And it's also good because it's not all or nothing. So if you wanted music, movies, and TV shows, but let's say your particular computer, your iPod, didn't support applications. It's an iPod Classic, a Nano, a Shuffle. So you don't want applications to be transferred to your iTunes library. Don't click applications. You don't like audiobooks? Don't click it. If you don't have, uh, if one of the computers is kind of old and slow and it's just a music server, 
and you don't want uh, music or movies, you only want music, no movies or TV shows, just go ahead and unclick that. So it's really pretty simple. But again, let's click that, click import, see how quickly this goes. So it's copying files, one of two, Mr. Monk buys a house, because I believe it'll copy both the HD and the standard definition files. So that's probably going to take some time, it's a fairly big file, particularly the HD one. But if we go to TV shows, it should tell us that there's something here. See, it's downloading the HD version first, and now it's, and then next up it'll download the standard def version. So, again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com, just giving you a quick demo of HomeShare, Apple's new technology built into iTunes 9 that allows, that makes it really easy for the user to synchronize all their different media libraries across the network. So, besides just live streaming the content and being able to just play it, I guess, it actually is really easy for you just to transfer that content too. And using the settings, you can have it done all automatically, all in the background, so you have no troubles. So again, Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com with HD video uploaded directly and only to youtube.com slash the revived one. If you see it on different channels, and I don't explicitly say it's mine, it's probably stolen, so report it if you want to. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and enjoy using HomeShare on your iTunes 9 computers.